All right, this video I'm going to be talking about the basics of algebra, evaluating different expressions for different variables, um, and inequalities. So for the first one, we have the quantity of 3ab, quantity means parentheses, divided by 8 minus 4. All right, so to do this, we have to use, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or PEMDAS, all right? So please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And the reason I write the multiplication and division side by side, same as addition and subtraction, those are the same order, all right? Doesn't matter which order you do them in. Um, parentheses comes first, um, then exponents, then multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So, do the first one. Whenever they give you two numbers to plug in, or three or four, whatever, um, first thing you want to do is actually plug them in, and then you can deal with all the math later. So we have three times a is four, times b is two, and that's in parentheses, divided by eight minus four. Now, a lot of people would think to do the eight minus four first, but since we're dividing by eight here, we have to group the eight with this. All right, so we're going to do the parentheses first. Three times four is 12 times two is 24 divided by 8 minus 4, which equals 24 divided by 8. Doing that next, not subtraction. Just use, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. 24 divided by 8 is 3 minus 4 equals, we have a small number minus a bigger number. It's going to give us a negative 1. All right. So that's it for number 1. Number 2 is similar. All right. So we have 2a over 3b, 2a over 3b, minus 4 times c. And it gives us a equals 12, b equals 2, and c equals negative. All right, so first thing to do, plug them in. So we have 2 times a, 2 times 12 over 3 times b is 3 times 2. Minus 4 times negative 2. All right, you can plug it in with parentheses or you can just use the dot, either way is fine. Now, whenever we have a division bar, that's a form of parentheses. They want us to do everything on the top first and everything on the bottom first. So, let's do that. We have 12 times 2 is 24 over 3 times 2 is 6. And we have a minus 4, which is the same as negative 4. So minus 4 times negative 2, two negatives make a positive, so really we're just adding 8 here. 24 divided by 6 is 4 plus 8. Final answer is 12. All right, moving on. One more of these, and then we'll move on to inequalities. Say we have number 3, 3x minus 4 times y plus 2z. Alright, so 3x minus 4 times y plus 2z, where x is 3, y is 4, y equals 4, and z equals 2. All right, so just plugging them in first. We have 3 times 3 minus 4. y on the outside of the parentheses, so we're going to do that after we do the parentheses, which is 4, so times 4 plus 2 times z is 2. All right, so parentheses first equals do everything in here before we move on to anything else. So we have 3 times 3 is 9 minus 4. 
times 4 plus, and you can do these first as well, 2 times 2 is 4. But make sure you don't add these because the 4 is with the parentheses because it's multiplying. So this equals 9 minus 4 is 5, so we get 5 times 4 plus 4. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 4 equals 24. Okay, so erasing this too. Evaluate the inequality. In all math, you still use PEMDAS, all right? So that follows through anything you're doing, with any expressions or equations, anything. Um, so these are going to be true or false. True or false. First one. We have 4a minus 2 is greater than or equal to whatever, whatever the uh, mouth is open towards is the greater one. So you read that one greater than or equal to. Whenever it's got the bar under, bar under it, that line, that means equal to. 6. And it says... A equals 2. So you just plug it in. First thing you do, plug it in. 4 times 2 minus 2 is greater than or equal to 6. Well, 4 times 2 is 8. Minus 2 is greater than or equal to 6. So this turns into 6 is greater than or equal to 6. Well, 6 is equal to 6, so this is true. Okay. And the other one that I have. So we have 6 minus b is less than 1, all right? Where b is 12. So we have 6 minus 12 is less than 1. So we have a high, a lower number minus a higher number. That's going to give us a negative, and it doesn't matter how you think about it, 12 minus 6 is 6, but since we're minusing the bigger number from the smaller number, it's going to be negative, is less than 1. Now here's where a lot of people get confused. Just because 6 is a bigger number, if it's negative, that means it's actually smaller than 1. So this is also true. Knowing how to read these is really good. All right, so on the side, if it says this, that means less than, less than. This would be greater than. And if it's got the bar under, under it, that would be greater than. or equal to. And you can figure it out if it's less than or equal to. Less than or equal to would just have the bar under it. That's it for today.